goes wrong. One. It goes wrong big time. Unlucky to leave that, you could say. So Ronnie is off and running again. Eight. And this time, Nine. there are no reds in the other half of the table. Sixteen. Seventeen. straight on the black than we would have liked, but you see there's a red available to the right middle. They must be the way he's played that. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Yeah, nice to be played at this time a good angle on the black now. You always need a bit of luck when you go into the cluster. And he's OK, the red just below the pink will go to the left middle. 32. Great chance now. 33. Yeah, this is a more orthodox chance. It's in a, well, apart from the red and the left cushion, you couldn't really place them any better. Yes, and he may just have the angle on that red just above 40. the pink to the right middle. If he's got the angle, he could come back off, back off this one. Well, he's not much of an angle. He's got to force it. He's got to force it over. 41. Now, under normal circumstances, you say we'll play the pink, but... I think he's got maximum in mind. Forty-eight. Yeah, there's only one thing happening here. Apart from him making a match winning 49. break. Forty-nine. As he's going for a maximum. Bit disheartening when you're his opponent when you see him refuse the easy pink for the difficult black there, but you just have to sit there and appreciate what he's doing. 56. Well, maybe Matt said his last shot in this match, but Ronnie's yep. got a little bit of work to do okay. here. Just asking Jan Verhaas to clean the red, just foreign object, just catching his eye. You've got to stun this cue ball in between the pink and that little cluster of four Sorry. to play for the black in the same pocket as the red. Thank you. Played it nicely. Now, I'll say those four reds, I think one of them will pot. So he didn't have to play any cannons into them, and I think it's... He pots one, he releases another. 64. 65. This black and one more red. And the frame's over. And the match. 72. So all eyes now. 73. Can he make the maximum? And normally with a right-handed player, you would say the red and the left cushion's awkward, but you know, Ronnie's no problem for him to play with his left hand, so there's not really any, any difficulty in this break. It's 81. just his concentration. Don't play any careless shots. You can't see another outcome here. 
Yeah, that red near the right middle sort of worries you a little bit because you tried to get on that before, but you've just got to get past. We're all crossing our fingers. So this time he's trying to get on that red, needs to run, he's finished on it. That was the awkward red, he's got a nice angle on it to come back for the black. 89. Everybody eyes on Ronnie at the moment. Ninety six point and a maximum that you just don't notice anything else going on around you. Ninety seven. Audience, opponents, other tables, cameras, nothing. You're just in your own bubble here. I was just going to say, not ideal in the black, John. I'd, 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 I'd be a, a touch straighter in this black to get close to the red. That's about as good as it could do. 112. Dead straight, the cue ball's going to be quite close to the cushion here. Everybody stop now, watching this. And it goes. And now, 13. has he got the angle on the black to punch it in off one cushion? Little shake of the head. Is he absolutely perfect? He's got to make the angle. <laughs> He's played it well. He's got this barbecue ground. Absolutely. 122. Right to move. And then every pot gets a big round of applause. I've said it before, this is the biggest buzz you can get playing snooker, making a 147. 125. Okay. 129. Just got to juice the pace now, on and off the top cushion. He's played for the pink in the middle. Is he going to... Oh. Rebellion's got him! 134. Ooh. Yes, that was a hard stopper.